You hit me! Would have been even cooler if it had exploded into confetti, but still, great shot! <laughs> Nicely done, friend! I suppose introductions are in order. I'm Blaze. Blaze Ultra. I know, I know, it sounds weird. Ultra wasn't my birth name. No, that's... Megatronic. You betcha! Anyone can have a dream. What makes it special is making them happen. And I have a special talent for making things happen. Okay, it's usually accidents, but they're almost always the fun kind of accidents. Like when you walk away before the vehicle explodes. Or meeting you! I do a lot of wild and crazy stuff, but I've never seen anything quite as out there as your roller coaster designs. And I like it! You know? The more I think about it, the more I think our meeting can't be a coincidence. I mean, coincidences happen all the time. But it's no fun if you don't pretend they mean something. Tell you what, you've just been deputized. Phil Bailey wanted me to test these roller coaster modules Cloudstormer are developing, but he didn't tell me how he wanted me to do it. You've heard of Cloudstormer, right? Great company. Not doing so great lately. Bet someone with your vision would have awesome ideas about how to use the stuff Phil has thought up. Am I right? Don't look at me like you've got a choice. You know this is happening. Let's see what you can do with some serious roller coaster kit. I have some modules that look like abandoned prototypes for some kind of stunt show. I mean, it's just a circus cannon and a motorcycle ramp. Not sure you can use these. Wow, what a wild concept. Nothing like a giant ramp to launch you into the stratosphere. Even better on a rocket bike, but let's not get greedy on your first day. You're doing great, but maybe it's time to see if we can fly your dreams even further than any sane person would want to go. Whoa, water feature. Since you're well on your way to becoming the next theme park visionary, tell me this. How are you going to overcome the obstacles you're going to face? <laughs> well, that was more of a rhetorical question. Not that I ever got the hang of those. I mean, if someone asks you something, you're supposed to answer them, right? Right? But sure. Let's see if we can't make your vision a reality. And see if this thing shakes any fillings loose. This is amazing. You've gone from building an awesome fire exit to turning your whole apartment complex into a theme park ride. I should really call Phil so he can come see. No need. I can sniff out a roller coaster from 20 kilometers. Hope you don't mind me hitching a ride. Great gravy boats. How on earth did you get a license to build this thing? We didn't. Wonderful. It's so much easier to seek forgiveness than permission. Let's go! New coaster modules you've come up with. I'd have never thought to make them. Ah. 
Ah, I'm getting an idea, you know. I've actually been thinking about taking on a protege for a while. Originally, I was going to run a competition, but Izzy wouldn't let me. How would you like to try your hand at the big time? I can't promise that the pay will be good. The belts of Cloud Stormer are a little tight at the moment. But I can promise you'll learn a lot. <laughs> Some of it might even be useful. So, what do you say? I'll take your silence as a yes. <laughs> Come on, I'm double parked. Ooh, I'm coming too. I know you only hired me for the day, but I want to see where this goes. Ah, here we are. Now, I know this forest might look spooky from a distance, but once you're in the thick of it, it's merely pantaloon-fillingly terrifying. Yes. As choice of locales for a fun-packed family theme park go, this wasn't exactly your finest hour, was it, Phil? Oh, hello. You're the new hire, hmm? I'm Isabel Dillard, Cloudstormer CEO. <laughs> Although sometimes I feel like I actually run a crash. Oh! Sorry, where are my manners? And I don't know why you're picking on this park, Izzy. I've made far worse mistakes. Don't worry, we'll visit those in due course. Anyway, ominously creepy trees aside, this is a fair bit bigger than the test site and your fire exit coaster, hmm? Well, the stakes certainly are. Always pinching those pennies, eh, Izzy? I can't wait to see what our friend here paints with a canvas as large as this. And don't worry. We're not quite throwing you in at the deep end. I'll be right here by your side to answer any questions you have. And I'll be by your other side making a note of how much you spend. She does that whenever we have a business lunch, too. Heaven forfend you have the temerity to order something sweet to finish. Yes, well, if our friend here messes up at this park, they won't have to worry about not getting their just desserts. Ooh, lovely. Make mine a cheese.